Hello, there we go. Mario Maker, hey, I figured out how to stream my Switch. It involved reviving a lot of dead technology, uh, but we're here. We're playing Mario Maker 2 on the Nintendo Switch. I'm so excited about it. Um, yeah, this game is great. I kind of impulse bought it like I do with every Mario game. Um, and sometimes that works out and sometimes it doesn't. And this time it definitely worked out, so I'm very happy. Uh, yeah, let's start playing something. Uh, play. So I've been primarily interested in Course World. Thank you, Marcel. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Wow, I got notifications. Oh no! Somebody beat my world record. Okay, well, that's what we're doing now. I have to figure out what level that is. Check it out. Um, you'll hear about it in the next episode of Into the Aether, a low-key video game podcast available at anchor.fm slash the aether um, or twitter.com slash into the cast. Uh, but I have been playing this game a bunch over the past couple days, and I am really, really into getting world records and things. Um, so I'm going to see if I can beat this person's. Uh, I have to remember what this level is first. Oh, also, if there's anything wrong with the audio in any way, just like let me know. All right, so far, no good. Um, unfortunately, there is a lag also. Down, 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 okay. Well, I'll just get used to it, whatever. Uh, wow, I just died again to that. Oh, thank you. Hello. Um, wow, yeah, there's like a, there's, it's like, it's not bad, but it's like a noticeable, I think. So just a, a little like, info on how I'm streaming the Switch. I'm using a, a capture card that I used in 20, like, 12, probably, a lot. Um, and I just, like, revived it um, by just, like, installing a bunch of drivers for a different capture card on it. Um, and now I'm also using my old laptop uh, to stream. So there's, like, a lot going on in terms of, like, old technology being uh, reused to bring us this new video game. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. I, it, this might be less of a, uh, Brendan tries to get world record times on streams, and more just, like, Brendan does Course World. Um, anyway. Uh, I will, I will try to get the world record on this again. So, if I recall, it was this, this, this. Uh, yeah, wait. I think this is one of the ones that I got the world record on. Oh, yeah. This is one of the ones I got the world record on just because I might have been the first person to play it. Because uh, I was playing a lot of new levels. Uh, there we go. You can jump and land on that dude and then jump off him. Mm. You know what? I am just going to go do regular course world. That's the plan, friends. Anyway, um, I do have a couple... Uh, first of all, I do have to show off my wonderful me, who is just the best. Look at him go. Um, an interesting thing about this game, I think this is in lieu of the ability to unlock other playable characters. So, like, in the last game, you could play as uh, Waluigi, as a notable example um, or, or Wario, or Daisy, or a Goomba, or whoever, um, and in this game, you unlock new things for your me, so I got this one for getting a world record on something, uh, I forget why I got this, but, um, I don't know if I am a fan of this being the new, like, unlock strategy, but it is nice to have, like, some kind of progression in this, in this game, um, I got this sick skull skirt, which is fun. This is what you start with, is the Nintendo shirt and some short shorts. 
uh, which is really fun. You know what, I'll leave those on, because it's hot in here. Yeah, he's got he's got a really good energy. So here's the other stuff that you can choose. You can choose from uh, just hanging out, you know, just doing his thing. Uh, there's like a fidgety one, a little, a little nervous, poor guy. There's an annoyed one. Buoyant is great. I'm a big fan of this one. He's, he's just like ready to go. Thrilled. This one is like really ready to go. This is this is like, this is like fun ready to go. This is like, I'm getting a world record. Uh, this one's really good, but he is like nonstop. You know, he just like. I thought it was cute when I first saw it, and I selected this one as my as my energy. Uh, but boy, something about that just going on forever was a little bit freaky to me. Um, and then there's this, which was like obvious. I wish this one had a bunch of poses like this one did. You know what I mean? I wish it was like, like this person's just voguing it up in a way. I kind of wish this one had some more stuff going on and then hyped, which uh, I didn't expect this to be what hyped was when I clicked on it, but who oh boy, I do like it a lot. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going we're going back to the, the classic. Here we go. All right. Anyway. Doing a lot of not playing Mario on this Mario Maker stream. Let's do it. Uh, endless challenge. This is uh, my whole shit. I'm a really big fan of it. Um, I started easy mode last night just so I could play while I was watching uh, Summer Games on Quick. But I do think it is time to start normal mode. Um, as you can see, I tried it once. I got two levels in and then died. Um, and... Here we go. Yeah, this is pretty much just like a roguelike, but in Mario, which is kind of the dream for me in a way. Um, on the most recent ITA episode, uh, I think I describe it as the, it's the primordial ooze of Spelunky, which is like Spelunky is so based off of Mario's move set um, that like somehow this it wraps back around and then turns Mario back into a roguelike. Yeah, they have a big mood selector in this game. I want to be whoever localizes me poses. Yes. I wonder, I hope that somebody is mo-capping that or like somebody is doing those poses in the Nintendo office. Not like mo-cap, but like I hope that there's like a video reference file that somebody used to make those poses happen. Um, so what's cool about Endless Mario is they give you five lives uh, and then they just throw levels at you that they think like fit the difficulty that you selected. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, again, if there's any audio issues, please let me know. Um, a lot of weird tech happening here, so whatever. Okay, isn't too bad so far. Uh huh. Oh, those guys are immediate. I thought that they would have a little bit of a lag to them, but I guess not. I like this background here. I do. F I feel like I'm inside a castle for real. Definitely taking my time on this. Uh, okay. Do you think? Do you think if I just get a running start, I'll be able to just run under all these guys, or do you think they'll kill me? I'm just gonna go for it. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. That's what I remembered from, like, ye olden days of playing Mario Brothers, but that first guy hit me immediately. Oh, no! <laughs> wow, look at all those people that died there. Castle Calamity. This is a cool level, though. This is really great. I've been thinking a lot today about just, like, how impressed I am by just, like, really good, like, standard-ass Mario levels. Um... That was dumb. That was dumb. I did the exact same thing again. Um, yeah, whenever whenever people are able to make a Mario level in this game that just feels like an actual Nintendo Mario level, I'm really impressed. Because um, so frequently, these levels end up just becoming, like, hell gauntlets. Because um, that's, like, an easy thing. Not an easy thing, but, like, 
there's a version of playing this game and making levels in there where like that is the easy thing to make. Ooh, look at that stuff up there. I guess I'm going up there. Um, so I'm always just like more impressed when somebody just takes like a very deliberate approach to making stuff here. Uh, it's it's really rad. Okay, jump, jump, jump. All right, my dude. Get out of here. Ooh, those are homing guys. Okay. Run. I'm not gonna hit that, because that freaks me out. Oh, shit! <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, so, I have five lives in Endless Mario here. I've already used a whole bunch. No, shit, I just did the thing again. Alright, this is not going great. This is not going great for me. Uh, I've used two lives. I've died twice on this first level. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get some extra lives in some future levels. This is a Castle Calamity. This level is really cool, though. I'm really impressed by it. Alright, alright. We're fine. We're fine. Right, running, jumping, jumping. There we go. Okay. Now that I've done this, I feel like I can be a little bit more reckless with it. I'm also getting used to the uh, input lag on this, which is nice. Alright. Let's hit that that way. Oh, wow. That was very close in a way that I... Whoa, shit, what? <laughs> oh, my god. Uh, yeah. So there's... There's... An amazing level design core. Oh yeah, this is a thing that tells you like, hey, if you suck at this, not, not if you suck at this, but like if, if this level's too hard, then you can skip it, uh, which I'm not going to because of pride reasons and also that's the whole point of Endless Mario. Um, anyway, there's a, there's a whole level, shit, I just, I did the thing again. There's a whole level design course in here uh, where they just like walk you through the basics of level making um, and then it gets like more and more advanced as you go on and it's, um, Told from the point of view of a pigeon who is like a master game designer and I think a girl named, I want to say Nina. Um, and it's amazing. It's so like weirdly funny and and um, just like well written and kind of insightful in a way. Like it teaches you a lot about how Nintendo thinks about level design. Um, I've been really impressed by it. <sighs> Um, yeah, I've been taking a lot of, actually, I wonder if I can just do this. I think this works. I've been taking a lot of screenshots of the level design. I know this is weird to hop out of the level in the middle, uh, but this is what it looks like. It's, it's conversations between this pigeon and, uh, this, this girl. Um, and they're, so like, this is, when making a course, think about how you want the player to feel during each moment. That was during, like, the first lesson. It was just, like, kind of, like, throwing at you this like kind of big philosophical game design idea uh when you think you're done with the course try playing it from the beginning with fresh eyes it's just an idea that uh people will find different paths through your level uh beyond the intended one which is great uh treat enemies like truffle salt a little bit goes a long way uh when creating your course don't hesitate to exploit the insatiable greed inherent in all human beings which is like just throw coins all over the place and people will go there because that's where coins are uh which is great place too many coins in the course they'll lose their power inflation and all that like it's it's very funny too um yeah it's great oh wait that one was really wonderful uh putting too many ideas in your course is an easy mistake to make chaos can be fun but only if there's purpose behind it uh which was cool yeah i don't know there was one about how um about how uh difficulty can be mistaken for challenge uh and a lot of people just make like difficult courses thinking that they're challenging but it ends up just not being fun uh which i was really impressed by oh man i why am i so bad at that one in particular okay all right yeah okay that's fine that's fine wow all right all right Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> oh my god, of course, of course. <laughs> All right, well, Endless Mario.
Let's try again. The There's a wide gap I've found between the easy mode, which is like, I have not died the whole time I've been doing easy mode, and uh, just regular normal mode. And then, of course, there's like more on top of that. Steven, honestly, this game is great. Okay, this one is a puzzle sol a short and sweet puzzle solving level. Okay, well I wish that would have come back. Is it gonna give me another one? There we go, okay. Oh, what is the deal with the moon? Okay, I, I don't know if touching the moon is good or bad. I just know it's not the sun, like he's not gonna kill me. Oh! Okay. Is there actually nothing there, or did I just miss something? Okay. I'm really into the sounds here. Look at that guy just hanging from the thing there. Oh, okay, so I'm assuming that when I press that button, it unlocked that door. Uh, what? Actually, I also do want to see what's... Excuse me. I'd like to go in there, please. Oh, there's actually nothing there. Okay. Alright, so we want to go up here. Oh, that's weird. Alright. Oh! Ooh! Just bring the button with me! Of course! Mario Maker! Aha! Oh! I died! Okay. Well. <laughs> um, alright. Do I need those 10 coins? I really don't. Oh, that's not the one. This is very funny that it's so hard to get into that. There we go. All right. All right. All right. And of course, this is not. Doesn't bring me high enough to get up there. All right. We're going. We're getting the P block or the, or the button. We're going to bring it down here. We're going to throw it there. We're going to jump, hit that guy, go in here, and then not die. Haha. Ah, look at that. So far, so good. Do you think I can go up that? Oh, you can, and it made a scary noise. Um, am I just gonna die? Do I just get punished for going up that? Yeah, I do. Okay, that's really cool and good. That's fun game design. Thanks, dude. Thank you to everyone in chat. I'm typing that into chat. But just thank you. All right. We're going. I'm so glad this worked out. I, I have been trying to figure out what to do about Switch streaming for a long time. All right. All right. Every time we die, we learn something new. Uh-huh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, now we know not to go up that pipe, because apparently the person that made this level doesn't enjoy- Oh! Whoop. Ooh, enjoy raiding, humble goat. I'm just jumping. Oh! That was a weird noise that the level made, but whatever. Okay, okay. Okay, I have to find a key. There we go. Cool. Uh, 
I forgot it was right there. All right. Whew. Do creators of courses in this mode get a reward for player ratings? Seems like some incentive would help uh, inscrutable levels. Yes, uh, there is a rating system here, um, and depending on how many people like or dislike a thing will change, I think, how frequently it shows up in things like Endless Mario, which is really wonderful. Also, I could go in and like re-tag things if I wanted to. Uh, there's not a tag that is punishes you for going down pipes, so I'm not going to change anything. There's also a comment system. Uh, Shades of me verse of old. Anyway, we beat the first level in Endless Mario. So let's keep going. Yeah. Rip me verse for real. <laughs> I just got so distracted by the Nintendo 64 logo showing up that I died immediately. What? Play when you are bored is the name of this level. I would love to bring back Mitomo. I'm really bummed that that got canceled. This is so funny. Okay. Oh, I was hoping that I could jump on Bowser, but nope. Oh, he's just mad. Oh my god, what? <laughs> That's not okay. Oh my god. What is happening? This is terrifying. Oh my god. Ooh. Wow. That was a lot. That was very scary, that level. 19 seconds is the world record on that one. Mitomo is my favorite form of social media. Yeah, Mitomo was so good. Ugh. I'm so bummed that it's gone. Uh, the only overly punishing levels I accept are those used in the Dan Riker and Patrick Klepek rivalry. Yes, absolutely. I downloaded uh, Dan Riker's first Mario Maker 2 level. Maybe I'll play it later. I've been trying to beat it for like two days now. It's really great. Um, it's like, it's, it's hard in a way that is fun and interesting and not in a way like that first one where it's like, oh, I went up a pipe and I didn't know that it would kill me if I went up that pipe. Um, it's, it's challenging in a way where it's like, oh, I know how I fucked up and I, I will fix that next time. Um, it's, it's executional challenge instead of like just jumping blind into a dark pit challenge. Yeah, I, I want Tamadachi like to come back too. That'd be really fun. Here we go. Oh, that's the thing Mario says. Reach the goal without taking damage. Um. Uh, um. <laughs> um. Is this... Mm. I'm, I'm with this person who just wrote how. Should I just jump to the right and just, like, see what happens? Oh! Oh, okay. I was so surprised I didn't die that I died. All right. I can do this now. Now that I know that there's a thing to jump to there, I feel a lot better about it. Uh, a really interesting thing about this game 
Okay. Remember when I said that I could do this? There is a chance that I can't. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, being able to stream on Switch is great. Um, I, I just play so many games on Switch. Oh, my God. There's so many things I can do now. This is great. I'm just going to keep this... My, my streaming setup just like here and ready always because uh, now I can stream um, what's that game Slay the Spire uh, I'm playing Xenoblade Chronicles oh shit that really scared me haha ha 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 they were running for me but they're... come on <laughs> what Ugh. Uh, Outer Wilds? No, I don't have an Xbox uh, or a PC that can run it. Um, but I am thinking about finding a cheap Xbox on Craigslist so I can play it and then selling it again on Craigslist. Because um, I feel like if I get to the end of the year and we start doing like goatee discussions on the podcast, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna feel good about not having played Outer Wilds. Um, so I gotta do it. Uh, Xenoblade is wild. Um, I played a bit of the first one. Completely, like, forget what happened in it. Um, I had it on the Wii, and then, uh, I just bought two kind of on a whim a week or two ago, and I've been playing it a bit. I'm, like, five to fifteen hours in. I know that's a pretty wide gap, but I, I honestly don't remember what it is. It just, it all blends together. Um... But it's interesting. the The combat system is like just so <laughs> much. Um, it was so easy at first. It's like, oh, it's auto combat. You just run near a thing, and your guy just attacks. And then it was like, and there's also this system where if you time things a certain way, uh, that oh shit, okay. Um, I don't know. It's really bizarre. It's it's a, it's a bizarre game. Uh, the combat is is really strange. I don't trust any of this, but I'm going. Mm -hmm. I'm playing it very safe. Okay. So far, so good. Uh huh. I love this music. So this is new. So uh, the dude that made all the original music for Super Mario Brothers and a couple of the other games, Koji Kondo, came back and made new music that fit all of the themes. So every theme from every game is now available in every other style of game, if that makes sense. So like, there wasn't a haunted mansion, or there, there wasn't a haunted house theme in the original Super Mario Brothers, uh, but there is in Mario Maker 2. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, and Koji Kondo made new music to fit all of those new themes and all the other things. It's amazing. Okay. This is some precarious shit. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh. Oh, shit. I thought that we were at the end, but we're at the halfway point. Okay. Oh, I love getting... Big mushrooms. Of course, of course, it's ice. Um, what is this? Is this a uh, mushroom or? That was very scary. All right, we're gonna be okay. Oh God! Wow! Oh, come on. No! <sighs> Another Nightmare on Boo Street. What a good name. Okay, so now we're here, but we don't have Big Mario. I love crouching and then jumping. It is so funny. 
All right. No, we're fine. Okay. Things we learned about dying. Stop doing it. Could be better. Aha! I'm just running. I'm sure there's like some stuff up there. I'm, I'm not here to become the. Wow, look at me killing ghosts. What is this? <gasps> what? Amazing. Okay, I don't know what that is. take a shot to celebrate wow look at that good frog nice dude frogman x okay do i like that level i think i do honestly i'm gonna hit that i'm gonna smash that like button i'm gonna like comment and subscribe Thanks, the mantis. Alright. So this is supposed to be a multiplayer versus level that I'm playing in solo. Okay. There's a whole piece of the game design course. I did like a, oh shit, I did a bunch of it uh, earlier. I haven't done all of it yet, uh, but I went through most of it. And there's a whole piece of it that's like, please don't put enemies in item blocks. It like makes item blocks worse for everyone. Uh, okay. Wow, oh, there we go. Yay! I don't know why I really felt the need to get that, but here we are. Wow. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, Humble Goat says, I've seen screenshots of Nintendo actively calling out shitty level makers in the tutorials for Mario Maker 2, and I love it. Uh, and yes, that is a thing that they do in this game, and it rules. It rules. Uh, it's really great. Uh, if you... Oh, shit. If you get this game, I highly recommend going to the level design course. It is very cool. Uh, and to Mark Zell, who says the floor is lava. Thank you. Oh. Okay. This game is so good. Are you kidding me? God, I love it. I didn't, it's weird because I didn't like, I didn't love the first one. I wasn't like huge into Mario Maker 1, uh, but here we are. Play Mario Maker 2 and loving it. Reach the goal after defeating, what is it, 16 Monty Moles? Okay. This is great. This is already awesome. I'm starting with Red Yoshi. We got the Angry Sun. We got this really long platform. Uh huh. This is wild. Can Yoshi? Oh, nope. The answer's no. The answer was no. Uh, well, all is lost. Whoa. All right, all right. 
That is probably the answer, that there's a bigger community uh, for this game on Switch than there ever was on Wii U. Um, I do think a big part of it probably has to do with the fact that I'm playing it, like, when the community is the most active, too. Okay, the wind is a lot to handle. Oh my god. Um, the fact that I'm, like, seeing a lot of people share their levels and stuff on Twitter right now is really great. I got Mario Maker 1 a little bit too late for that. Okay, alright, alright. Oh wait, no, I have to be not on Yoshi for this, I think. That's a big guy. Goodbye. Oh no! I left one. Shit. What do I do? He's not a Monty Mole. Oh shit. I love this thing that's just giving me a shitload of lives. Boing. There we go. Uh, do you think I can go back in there? I don't think I can. Does that mean I can't finish it? What do we think is going to happen if I run on top of these bloopers, huh? I'm just going to run and jump. That's my move. Yeah, I can't finish the level. I missed two of them. Um, wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna press the skip level button for the first time ever. Well, that's definitely not the skip level button. Goodbye. Yeah, I felt okay about skipping that one. TBH. Uh, this is cool. A lot of people really like making haunted house levels. Which, like... Oh, I didn't even realize that, that thing was there. <laughs> Whoops. How do you think... Oh, I know how to get that. I wonder if there's going to be Goomba, uh, those little shell guys, and then Koopa rooms, if that's what this means. Yeah, Koopa, Spiky Guy Bomb, and Wiggler rooms. That's fun. Alright, so if, if I'm not... All right, we got one. Oh, great. Can you kill? You can kill ghosts. I'm a ghost buster. Oh my God. Oh, shit. Oh, I can just get it back. Great. This is good level design. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying my best out here, and it's not going great. Uh-huh. Yes. 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 Shit. This is happening. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. This is bad. This is bad that I'm holding this. Um, Whatever. Looks like I'm just holding it forever now. Uh-huh. There we go. There we go. Yes! 
Look at that. Great. Oh, whoops. I can't do that. I was like, oh, this is great. I can just kill the Wigglers and then I'm good. But no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Mm. I'm going to play this smart. I'm going to go get another one of these things. It's not cheating if it's in the level. I think I want it when it's like at the top. Oh shit, okay. A little bit too much. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, but. Alright, I'm just gonna try this again. Whoa, but. Start with the Goomba one. This is like the most doable. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna get him. Whew. Alright. We're fine. Yeah, no, I know. I can skip stuff. Oh my god, why is this the hard room? <laughs> uh, okay. Too many Goombas. That's what I always say. Thanks for dropping by, Clab Strife. Appreciate it. Oh my god. This is upsetting. Let me try a different room. I'm gonna try a different room first. That's my new plan. Great, this is good. This I can do. Should embrace the helmet. You're absolutely right. Oof, that's this timing is like really intense. Have fun raiding. Good luck out there. I don't know what raid you're doing, but good luck in it. Oh my God! Thank you so much, Humble Go. Thank you for dropping by at all. It's great. It's wonderful. I appreciate it. Oof. Crown of Sorrows. Cool. I haven't done that yet either. Um, yeah. What? Is this real? Oh my god, you have to do it twice.
Aha. Don't die here. Great. Great. Alright. This feels like the most tedious one. So I'm gonna try and do it. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, all right, this is my last life anyway, so it's fine. All right. Now that I know how to do that bomb one, I feel good about it. So I'm going to try it again. Poyo Poyo Tetris. I do not have it. Um, I don't even know what that is, honestly. How many versions of Tetris are there on the Switch? I'm glad my death brings you joy. For real though, I am. I am glad. Haha. -ha. Oh, I already did it. Whoops, I didn't realize that they both blew up that first time. You don't have to do it twice, I just did that twice for fun. Alright. Uh, cool. Got that one. Let's do Spike Hat. And then this time, <laughs> don't be a dumb idiot. And, uh, you know, kill some ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghost, is what I'm trying to say. It's it's 2019. It's Pride Weekend. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Huh. Just being very methodical, taking my time, which makes it all the worse when you die. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is fine. This is fine. I could do this all day. Ghosts. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Yes! No! <laughs> no! This is bad. I think I can fix this. Yes. Okay. This one I don't know how to beat, so we're we're going to try it. I really should be doing this one first considering I don't know how it works. I have an idea. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm gonna go get another helmet. Infinite hats, limited ghosts. Absolutely. That's the wrong door. I think if I go back in here, they won't... Yeah, okay, cool. So they're, like, yellow and happy. Still, they're not red and angry. All right, except for that one, which is red and angry. I don't know if that matters in this case. Um, but, you know, worth, worth just doing it anyway. All right. Yes! Oh, the best. The best. So good. All right. All right. Look at this. I have 99 coins. Are you kidding me? This is great. This is the best run ever. Oh, shit. All right. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's okay. Throw that guy up there. Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh my god! <laughs> that was so bad! <laughs> oh shit! And I'll, ne I'll never see that level again. That's it. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Well, back at it again at Krispy Kreme, you know? Let's, Mario. Uh, okay, this is interesting already. Can I go on top of this one? Oh, I can. Oh, this is great. Oh! oh no. This is a cool level. pretty this level is. This is amazing. Hey, remember when I died <laughs> in that last level? This is also great. How cool. Okay, we're doing it again. This time. It's hot out. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. We beat it. That's what outside feels like this week. Absolutely. That was a cool level. I like that a lot. I'm going to hit the like button. Good job to that person. Wee woo. That was the name of the person that wasn't me going wee woo. I can go wee woo. I'm capable of it, you know. Reach the goal after defeating all... <laughs> this game is so funny. Why is this game so funny? There's no reason for it to be as funny as it is. All right. Oh my god. I like that it says defeating all one Bowser Jr. Okay. I don't know why they're like this is unreal this is unreal i love that i keep dying to all these goombas and like on the right of the stream nope oh. there's just like a bunch of goombas there watching watching their friends kill me they're probably so proud of them you know yes 
Yes. Yes! Look at that. I'm into that. This is good. Uh, can I get another fire flower? I sure can. This is great. Okay. I'm going to get another one of these, too. You can't stop me. I gotta be honest, this is not great. Ooh. He's throwing shells, he's throwing fire balls at me. It's a lot, this is just a lot to handle, you know? I just, I wish it was like one or the other, you know? shells. Aha! There we go. There we go. What's up here? Am I not supposed to go this way? Is this going to kill me? No, we're fine. Alright! Hey! We only died a lot! shells than shade absolutely okay that was fine that was like an okay time that we had together on that level let's do it what's next 90 coins <laughs> all right Okay. I think I want this top one, right? Yes. Mm hmm <laughs> Okay. I think I can go up. There we go. Yes! Yes! Look at this. Now this is Mario. This is a Mario brother. Yeah, oh, we're absolutely streaming three houses. Uh-huh. Dun 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 dun. We did it! That was great. Cool. Wow, new high score, three. <laughs> Onward. What do we got? Oh, cool, 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 cool. I actually love this already. Uh huh. Yes. Hey, it's our old friend. Oh, interesting. Okay. I get it. I need a Koopa shell. I feel like this. <gasps> oh my god! Wild. Alright. I didn't realize that that was how this worked. Oh shit! Hello, friend. Hmm. I don't know what the timing is on this. 
That's it, apparently. This is scary. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna go back and get that mushroom. This music is so good. Ah! Thought I was gonna get her. There we go. Ha! Yeah, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, I don't think would be able to happen on on this stream because of the delay happening on my controller right now with this capture card. Ooh, that was a little bit much. Oh my god! <laughs> what if I just threw myself into pits? Oh, what is this? Hello. Yes, please. <sighs> that course clear transition is the coolest shit. It is so pretty. Score. Super Smash Brothers stage. Okay. What are the tags? Short and sweet and themed. Is there something up here? Nope. Oh, this is like you're actually supposed to be playing Super Smash Brothers? Is that the idea? I'm not gonna, but do you think I can? <laughs> this is great. Okay. We hit him twice. Like, real quick. Yeah! Ow. Oh! Bloodstained. How is it? Is it good? Does it live up to the hype? I was really curious about it. I'm not, like, a huge Castlevania person, but I played enough of them to, like, and enough of the genre to, like, be interested in it. I do really like this idea. It's very cute. There we go. Uh, and for the record, you cannot go down that pipe. It was exactly as good as it needed to be. A glowing review. This is going great. 
Love it. I might be spoiled from Hollow Knight. Yeah, that'll... The game will do it to you. Honestly, there were even times playing Sekiro where I was like, Hollow Knight did this better. As wonderful and incredible as Sekiro is... Oh, I just jumped right into that like a dumbo. the last one or do you think there's another one after this Ooh. <laughs> oh my god oh my god Wah. all right this is a cool level though the idea of trying to do smash brothers in some way i did see one that was like a mario kart style game uh which was also very cool just like bringing mario's other exploits into the 2D side-scrolling platformer is cute. Ah, shit! That was close. That was too close, honestly. Aha! Yeah, I'm really interested to see when the next Hollow Knight comes out. Um, it was the only one in that montage during Nintendo's E3 presentation that said coming soon instead of, like, a date or even 2019. And I thought that meant, like... Because last year it was the, like, we dropped it during the E3 presentation game, and I was like, oh man, are they going to drop it during Treehouse or something? Um, and the answer was uh, no. No, it's just not done yet. It's not ready yet. Uh, so they're not announcing when it's coming out. Uh, there was like a blog post on the Team Cherry site recently that was talking about their expectations for timing, and they were just like, we don't even want to like give like a vague release date until we have until we know it's concrete and we can hit it and like there's not gonna be anything any pushbacks or anything which i really am into you know take all the time you need uh hollow knight is like probably in my top five favorite games of all time yes yes it was gonna be dlc originally uh it was the last dlc planned for hollow knight um where you'd be able to go through the story as um as hornet instead um and they were just like we wanted to make a whole new world and that's what they did which is rad it's very cool um yeah i'm stoked about it i'm so excited i saw some stuff uh from e3 i watched like a minute of gameplay just to like see what was different and it's really interesting um the stuff they're changing looks really rad and i'm excited about it Super Happy Fun Slide by Humidifier. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh, this is adorable. This is great. <gasps> Shit. If Silk Song came out the same week as Animal Crossing, um, oof. that is a big question. Um, wow. I think the answer is probably play Animal Crossing as much as I could during the day, right? Because, like, they really only optimize that game to be played, like, a certain amount at a time. Um, and then after that, play Silk Song until I get frustrated and then go back to Animal Crossing. This level is so interesting. What a great idea.
Did I just trap myself? Oh no. Okay. Ooh, that was scary. There's a possibility that Final Fantasy VII Persona 5 R Silk Song and Animal Crossing will be coming out in the same month. There's other stuff happening in March also. Hang on, I'm bringing up a list. Final Fantasy 7, March 3rd. Cyberpunk 2077 is late April, so that's, like, close. Fantasy Star Online 2. What else? There's more. I don't know. March is going to be a lot to handle. <clears throat> Um, hey, I made it past that level. That was fun. Hey, Onward. I did get pretty close to that speedrun. I am definitely not going to go back and try and get it. Wow. All right. Oh shit. There we go. Do you think I can go in here? No. I was gonna try and go through the door with the helicopter, but it is really interesting. There are there are like a lot I, I imagine this is a boss rush. Yeah. Like that's that's such a common it's like a bizarrely common... Okay, so I actually have to have the fire flower. Oh, he just jumped into the lava. Okay, well... Great! Not gonna say no! Ooh, Big Little Lies. Uh, have not watched any of it yet, at all. Um, but everyone in my office really likes it. So, like, I feel obligated to check it out at some point. How far out does that fire go? Oh, it's fine. Is the idea that I'm supposed to bring the bomb all the way to the end? Is that what they want me to be doing? Or am I just supposed to be running? Okay, there's another bomb there. Okay, I'm just gonna go through the door. I literally have no way of fighting this, right? Oh, no. I don't know what the, the point of that was. Uh, a sabbatical, but for catching up on video games. Somebody in my office just did that. They took a week off and went and bought a PS4 and just played all the games that they missed um, for a straight week and came back and said it was like the best time. Um, and I've never been so stoked about a person's life choices that weren't mine in my whole life. Okay. I definitely want to hold on to the fire flower in this case. So, gotta kill Bowser with it. Well, <laughs> great. I guess I have to bring a bomb with me to the piranha plant. I don't know if that's going to work, though. I think... Oh, shit. This is really bad. Okay. <laughs> I thought I just launched myself directly into the lava. All right. Uh, where's that... This bomb I can take to the door... Uh, okay. Oh, no. 
Yeah, ball. I don't know how I'm supposed to beat this level. I don't think I can, TBH. Unless I have the Fire Flower from the Bowser fight. What is this called? Smash Brothers Mini Classic Mode. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. So this is me fighting Bowser Jr. Weird that we got um, a whole bunch of, oh shit. A whole bunch of Smash Brothers themed levels, huh? All right. Don't lose the Fire Flower. That's the rule. Come on, jump off the edge. Do it again. There we go. Let's a uh, go. Reach the goal after grabbing at least twenty coins. Sure. How would I start by getting what is probably a mushroom? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Shit. All right. There we go. Um, look how pretty this game is. choices here. My favorite part in every Mario level is when you have to go down into the water and then swim a really far distance, like an Olympic swimming pool size distance, to get out of the water. Not that I want to dunk on someone's art, but woof, you know? Oh. Hey, I got enough coins to leave. Okay. By falling in the water and almost dying, I beat the level secret way. Yeah, that does feel like a dev exit. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, real question. The... Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games games. Are they actually good? I feel like they're probably good. Are they good? Should I be excited about Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games full title? I think the answer might be yes. Oh, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Well... Okay. 
actually, I'm going to stay down here. And then jump up this way. And then jump over here. Yes. Yes. Okay, when you're standing next to one of those things, it doesn't shoot, which is great. Aha! <laughs> it might actually be easier to do it without this thing. But also, like, what if there's a part that I literally can't, like, jump across at the end? Is my concern here. Oh. All right. I want to skateboard his knuckles. Hell yeah. There's a weird physical version of Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games with Dave and Buster's. That's interesting. I'd like to see more about that. I would like to play that. Okay. Yes. Yes. That wasn't totally intentional. Not all of it. Only some of it was intentional. Uh -huh. Okay. Now we're here. Yes. Oh! Whew. It happened. It happened. We did it. Somebody beat that in 12 seconds? Horrific. Terrifying. Hello, Alex. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're playing Endless Mario on normal mode, because uh, I'm a normal guy, I guess. Crystal clear dream. Oh, adorable. Whoop. Well, <laughs> apparently you can slip on blue pipes. Well. Yep. <laughs> I was trying to was trying to get around. Didn't work out. I can't believe I'm going to make it. I made it through that last level and I'm not going to be able to make it through this one. Uh, wait, excuse me, question, 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 how am I supposed to get through here? How am I supposed to do that? Was I supposed to go down this pipe? No. Do they literally want me to jump across here? Is it a big jump? I don't know if I can do that. Because it's so slippery. You can't really get going. Whoop. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I take that back. The big jump is possible, folks. Look at that guy. Hello. Wow. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, this music is so good. <laughs> that was terrifying. This is scary. This level is done. This level's done. This level's over. <sighs> that was great. That was wonderful. That was so good. All right. New high score. Global rank, 53,000. Look at that. We're getting better. We're getting better with every level. That's all that matters.
the upside down oh stranger things season three streaming soon on oh this is okay what um <laughs> okay Anyway, Stranger Things Season 3 coming soon to Netflix on <laughs> July 4th, 2019. Going in that pipe. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, this is great. This is the same level but backwards now. That's very cool. I actually really like that. That was cute. Okay. Hey, it's over. <laughs> sure. <laughs> lemon salad thinks it's cool. And that's really all that matters. Is what lemon salad thinks. I base all my opinions on lemon salad's opinions. Lava Thwomping. I don't know if I'm allowed to show that on Twitch.tv. Ready for pro strats? Just skip that whole bit. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Could you imagine, though? It's okay, Steven. You can play Slay the Spire. I do feel like this is... <laughs> this is bad. Um, I actually do want to find that level and download it and try it again. I wonder if there's a way to do that. I think there is. I think if I go to my profile and then there's like, yes. No courses found. I haven't made any courses yet, but I am, I am kind of wanting to now. Uh, lava Thwomping, here we go. Clears. Wow, a 10% clear rate. All right. I actually am very interested in trying this. Whoa! Hmm. I got to wait here until. This does not make for very good speedrunning. Oh no! Hmm. I'm gonna start from the beginning. I actually, I'm getting in the in the zone. I, well, let me let me see how the rest of the level goes first. I'm getting in the zone though. I don't know if you can feel it, but I can feel it a little bit. I'm kind of I'm kind of getting there. It's starting to happen a little more. Okay, so here's a uh, one of these bits. What if I just skip it? Look at that! Look at that! Uh huh. Okay. I can beat that level pretty fast, I think. Alec is very excited you're a cat. Well, thank you, Alec. Look at that. Cat Mario. Hey! World record! <laughs> Look at that! Um. Well, first of all, I'm gonna say I like it, because that's a cool level. Um. And I'm gonna try it again because I 
I could do that way faster, I think. Ooh. I can get past that part before the lava goes all the way up. I absolutely can do that. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, that was very close. This is the part that's a little rough. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, shit. Oop. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay. This is this is gonna happen. Okay, I did just stop before I started running, so. Okay. Um, I fucked it up already. That was scary, that one. Okay, this, this unfortunately, you do have to wait until this happens. Then you get the cat bell, and then let's just try that again. This bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Whoa! <laughs> I don't need the bell. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Okay, I have to get at least to the second lower one. <laughs> I didn't jump. Whoop! Let's try again. Oh my god. I can absolutely do this. Hmm. Okay, second one. Ah, shit. Need the bell, you're right, but I do have to wait for that lava, which is a bummer. Okay, right here. Uh huh. Yes, yes. I mean. That was fast. I think I just went for... Okay. I think it was, what, 59, and now it's 32? That's pretty good. That's a pretty good time. I'm very happy with that time. Sometimes I'll go and change the tag to speedrun to try and get more people to speedrun it. I'm not going to do that this time, but... Wow. Wow. Uh, cool. Look at that. That was great. Uh, should I try a really hard level? Here's one that I'm trying to beat. Um, how do I do this? I think it's courses. Uh, so for people who watch uh, or are aware of Giant Bomb and the history of Giant Bomb, one of the things that happened there was uh, a never-ending rivalry between Dan Riker and Patrick Klepek uh, as they challenge each other to Super Mario Maker levels. Um, and this is the first throwdown sh level is Bad Time Forest. So, gonna give it a whirl. 
it's hard. I haven't been able to beat it yet. 370 clears out of 66,000 tries. Uh, so it has a 0.55% clear rate. It's very hard. I've gotten pretty far into it, um, but I have not beaten it yet. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot to handle. I'm going to die a lot here. Just a heads up. There's a lot of comments. Ah, okay. I know the beginning of this level, like the back of my hand. That is random, the chain chomp, which is a bummer. Um, I'm gonna turn comments off, just for now. Uh huh. There we go. I love the the forest. Oh shit. Bad time forest is a very good name. I completely agree. Um, man, I'm so glad that I got this switch streaming working. Okay, when he goes back. Yes! This, I've been playing this level a, ah, a lot, uh, not on stream. Um, so I know like what to do for a big chunk of it. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's kind of hard to beat. Ah, <laughs> spikes. It's thriving, wow. Thank you so much. What? Yeah, there we go. All right. This is supposed to be the easy part, and I keep fucking it up. And by that, I mean I fucked it up one time, and now I feel bad about it forever. All right. And now this goes up here. All right. Oh. Ready? Jump here. Knock him that way. And then that's going to go up, and then it's going to flip the switch. And then you hit this. If you hit this first, then it gets blocked, and then you can't go up. And that sucks. Are you ready for this? This is the wildest shit. The fact that this is part of this level is wild to me, and I have not gotten all the way past it yet. Uh, it is real difficult. So, just, uh, let's do it. <sighs> ah! hard it sucks to like get through the whole first part and then die there it's really rough okay great 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 great, great. this is so perfect this is like great setup Ooh, there we go uh -huh. wait from there and this one goes by there we go okay Oh! Whoa, that was very close. That was a little bit too close. Ooh. There we go. All right. That's fine. Oh! Yeah, it's hard. It's really difficult. I am like... I don't know if I can beat it, but I've gotten so far in it that I kind of feel like obligated to get to the end eventually. I don't know why this chain chomp is like the hardest part though. God, this music is so good. Great selection, Dan Riker, on the music. Uh, that Koopa can kill you as you're going up through that little hole. Which is rough. Alright. Do you think they should let the players set their own checkpoints for trial runs or that undermine it? I don't know. Um, I think you can download... No! Oh my god. Uh, you can download the levels and then like see what's going on there. Um, actually, I think if I'm not mistaken, I already did download it. I think you can edit 
levels that you've downloaded? Um, let's take a look. Um, no. Unless I go to Course Maker, and then in Course Maker, there's like a I have not used uh, Course Maker at all. This UI is a lot. Save load. What if I loaded? Can I load a downloaded level? I can, it looks like. Oh, no, you can't. That's weird that they would show downloaded courses if you can't. Because I would be really interested to like see what's going on in the rest of that level. Hmm. Okay, well... I guess you just gotta keep going then. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Shit. Shit. Course world. Uh, bad time forest. Let's give it a whirl. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the thing, every, every piece of this is dangerous and can kill you. That's the thing about it. Like you can't get complacent at like any point in this level. Like that, that almost killed me. sound like it hit something over there, didn't it? Oh, there's a boo there now. Oh my god, there's an item block that got hit that now has a boo in it. No! Oh my god, that's really hard. I don't know what to do about that. Because I, I keep trying to jump off of the Goomba, but it doesn't seem to do the thing that I want it to do. And I don't know if it's like me messing up an input or if that's like, you can't do that two times in a row or something. <laughs> oh man. What's the best Switch game to catch a stranger playing on the train? Uh, probably, um, I talked about this a little bit today on the podcast, but um, probably Xenoblade Chronicles 2, considering, like, oof, those character models are rough. Uh, would not want to be seen playing that game in public. TBH. Okay. So many like dumb ways to die in this level. Ooh, that would have been one. That would have been one of them. Okay. So this doesn't always get the boo, which is interesting. That's just like a worst case scenario. It's just like a little fun thing that Dan added to this level just to mess with people. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do there? I haven't watched, like, a video of anyone trying to beat this level, so I don't really know. But at the same time, like, he did it. He had to beat it to be able to upload it, so, like, there is something that you can do there that I'm not doing. 
which is important. It's an important note. Okay. Oh, shit. There we go. All right. Something more positive. Oh, a guy next to me was fighting the Radiance and Hollow Knight. As they were supporting him. Oh, nice. Um... Wow! That was a new way to die. Okay. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do in that case. Um, the best game to catch a stranger playing on the train. Wah. It will be Animal Crossing when that is out. That'll be the answer to the question. And I know that because I will be the person playing Animal Crossing on the train when that comes out. The boo is out. Oh, I've never had that happen before. Wow. Um, let's just go through all the games real quick. Uh, Cuphead would be fun to watch someone play on a train, definitely. It's so visually visceral. Like watching someone die repeatedly on there would be really fun anyway here's all the games i have in case you were wondering i guess uh but yeah i think my answer is cuphead maybe dark souls also just like watching somebody try desperately to not throw their switch across the train car That's my new move. Jump on top of the block while I wait. So I don't get killed by that shell if it ends up coming back. Alright. I don't know. You're going so, so you have you have to jump off that guy. Because I was just thinking, is it is the problem that like maybe for some reason you can't jump twice? Like you can't jump off of two enemies, like do super jumps off of them? Uh, is that a thing? So I was like, what if I don't jump off that first guy? Uh, but you have to, because you're going so fast. Like, you can't stop yourself either. Boing? Oh, I just... Ah, uh, shit. I feel like watching someone play any JRPG on the Switch, on the train, like in public, would be really great. That's, I think that's the secret to JRPGs that I haven't unlocked yet, personally, as a person who, like, really hasn't played a whole lot of them, um, is I think, like, the playing them at any opportunity whenever you can part of it. And, like, that's the only way you could put in the, like, 100 to 200 to 300 hours you need to beat those games. Um, I think that's the part of it that I haven't really, like, locked into. It's like, I just need to, like, make it my part-time job to play these games. <laughs> wow. Is 11. My time. I should probably. 
should probably go to sleep. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call the stream. Uh, for now. Um, I will not stream Bad Time Forest. I mean, I I will not play Bad Time Forest off stream. I will beat this on stream. That is my new is my new goal for myself. Um, but anyway, that said, thank you to everybody who tuned into this stream. Uh, very cool of you. Um, now that we can stream on Switch, I mean, that just that's just gonna happen all the time now. It's my new plan. Um, so get ready for that. And uh, yeah, have a good night, everyone. I'm going to switch to a thing that says stream soon, even though it's over. So just prepare for that. Goodbye.